Which way do we go? We go straight. Noon, noon, good afternoon. We're back in the back country again. We just loaded up this morning at 6 a.m. and then made our delivery. Washboard Danny. I think we might be going downhill here a bit. About three miles from the well. Haven't been on a road this bad in a while. I guess it's soft. I don't know if we stay on top of this mesa. Maybe we do. We could, yeah, we could end up over on top of that other mesa over there. see all the wells over there. Yeah, it kind of looks like we're going to go up on top. Up there. So it's up to the driver to decide whether he's going to chain up or not. The thing I question is, like, how do you know if you're going to have to chain up or not? If you got some hills, then there's a good chance of it. They should tell you that it's going to be up and down grades. This will be fun trying to come out of this one here. Even with just dirt, still pretty steep. fresh snow, you'd be chaining up. And if you chain up for that little bit, you might as well chain up for the whole trip back here. So we're not going over there to the right. That's on the other side. I've been there before. We're going to turn left here about a quarter mile and go up. Is there a left on you? 
So I did something new today. I learned how to pump off. Well, I already knew how to pump off, but usually you hook up to a the machine called a LACT, L-A-C-T, and it will, you open up your valves, it'll take the oil away from you. But that road looks like snow packed up there. Possible we'd have to chain up. I am going to throw axle interlock in. Find my gears. If they have, if it's like this, we should be able to climb it because you'll get a bit of rocks here and there. It depends on how steep that is. I'm gonna see if I can look and see. Could be our wells right in front of us up on the hill there. I don't know, it's going over there to the right. Looking at that road over there. Kind of like this, so we should be able to climb it. Keep my speed up. Because we'll get up here and make a right turn. a pretty good climb. And I think there's enough dirt showing. To keep us into the traction mode. main thing is you can't shoot it so this overcast that's been here forever they call it an inversion I guess And so, like this is south facing, if the sun was shining, it would have eaten this up a while ago. At least this is daylight, not night. I wouldn't even see that until I got up on it. Just hang on. I think we'll be fine. Just gotta keep your momentum going.
dang it. Okay. Stupid is as stupid does. Um. Let my brakes kick back a bit. So now I know. Um, don't even test any of these hills. Of course, I'm so used to automatic, but it's totally my fault. Didn't have my speed up. Don't know if I would have made it anyway. Um, so I stopped. I let my foot off the brake. I started sliding backwards. Well, this thing you can't go backwards in. Not very far before that pup starts to jackknife. I was able to get it set down enough. This dirt is pretty on the side. It's pretty hard, but I was able to get underneath some and then get it. Um, get it going Let's see if we can go forward I get my brakes put in it takes a while for these trailer brakes to stop or release I should say I'll have to sit here for a minute. Because of those trailer brakes, I'm sitting on dirt. I was able to get dirt under all the tires. We have chains on. I just have one set. If I can't go anywhere, I'll go up a little bit and then I'll throw another set on. But I think we'll be all right. I just got to wait for the brakes to release. Excuse me, when you have 10 axles, a lot of brakes to release. Okay, we're rolling. So I'm on dirt. We have chains on. Those trailer brakes don't seem to be releasing. Which is the problem. I think when I put my foot on the brake, it locks them up. Once I start rolling, I'm going to have to not use my foot on the brake. Shoot, I was in the wrong gear. I gotta do that over again. Tough. Not let's go to first gear. Oh, 
pressure buildup. Throw those little chains on. We're sitting on dirt. What a pain in the butt. Okay, let's see what happens. So, actually, I'm kind of glad this happened. <laughs> stupid on my part. Like, tremendously stupid. But I learned something. Um, like, these are doubles. So... Um, they... Uh, are harder to put on. If I just had a semi and not the pup, I could have made that. Ooh, I'm just glad we got out of there because that was going to be a mess if I had to call somebody. It would been embarrassing, it would have been a mess, it would have been expensive. So I'll just leave my chains on to go down that hill. Um, don't need to slide out and then go over the edge. But once we get to the bottom, I'll take them off, boom, we'll boogie. I won't make my appointment today. That's fine, I haven't made any of them yet. But, like I said, it was a lesson because I learned that you think you're okay, you're not. So just instead of getting into that bind that I was in, like literally, um, oh, don't go over the edge. I don't care if you got chains on or not. Um, make sure we're going the right way we are. Um, even though... You think you're okay, you're not. Just stop, put your chains on, because you don't want to be up on that hill like I was. This has happened to me before in other vehicles on steep hills. I was climbing. I went down okay, but I didn't go up okay. And um, it started sliding back on me. Well, you can only go back so far, and that thing jackknifes. Now you can't go back anymore. So now you can't roll your chains on. You don't want to jack it up because that's helping to hold your vehicle still. The first thing that you want to do is throw dirt behind the wheels. That way, if it starts to slide, it'll hit that dirt and it'll stop. And that's what I did. I threw a bunch of dirt behind there and then I was able to relax. Not stress out, I should say. And then um, it was throw a whole bunch of dirt around all the tires just to keep all of them. I got 10 axes. 
So that was a good little workout. Um, and then put your chains on. Should have done that in the beginning. I learned the hard way, but it wasn't bad. So anyway, let me go to this den and we'll be back in a minute. See ya. Okay. We are loaded. Kind of got messed up a little bit here. I guess I'm still learning this stuff. Um, they had the tank at 21 feet. And I measured it. I, I read that earlier and I measured it, but I didn't really think about it until after I started pumping. And I'm like, wait a minute. I think that was supposed to be, was that 23 or 13? I had already started pumping, so I had to start. Um, I hope that thing comes around. And it is. Uh, back trailer tires were riding up a little bit. So anyway, I still have my chains on. Uh, like once I put them on, I'm going to go to where I know because I there's that other part that we came down, and I seem to think I would be all right. But the fact is that I've already got them on. They're going to stay on till I get past that other ridge, get back down below, and I should be all right. Stuff's pretty steep. Like I said, that was a dumb move on my part, but um, you know, live and learn. And oh, I'm done with this, so I don't need to listen to it. Um, it was a lesson learned. Right here is where I spun out. See how much dirt I threw up there? And I still couldn't get going with chains on. Well, it wasn't set. I had to throw the other set on. So this stuff's pretty steep. Um, a lot steeper than you think it is. So, I mean, like, but I did learn a lot. Um, when I come up again, I will, well, when I come back here anywhere, if it's night and it's snowing and I look up ahead and I see snow, I'm pulling over and I'm putting chains on. That's just all there is to it. Because um, do it when you're nice and level, you get a better, a better setup. I, like my chains are on, they're on pretty good. They're not on great. Um, but they're on decent enough. But seriously, that was on a hill where when I set the brakes and I let my foot off the brake and the truck starts sliding backwards, we were empty. But <laughs> that's happened to me before. And I didn't have chains on, obviously. So um, I got lucky there. I could have been in a bad situation. I, I mean, the truck could have gone backwards and jackknifed and that would have been a pretzel mess. And so it was a learning situation. And I'm glad we came out of it all right. Um, yes, I posted that. <laughs> I was like, well, don't post this. But no, I'm going to post it because, well, as you see, it happened. Oh. I'm an honest person. I'll tell you what, I'll be straight up. You know? Um, I'm not going to... cheat and lie. I'm going to put this axle interlock. Just because... And I probably would be okay here because I could get a run and start. And uh, 
can't find it, grind it. Probably should have used another. Uh, looks like someone's kind of spinning out there a bit. But I could have spun out right here too, so. You know, like I come back into this area, these areas, and it's snow. This wouldn't be bad had the. We didn't have the inversion, but irregardless, it could be just snowing. I can't come back here barefoot. This is not like OTR. Nothing like it. This is off-roading in a super truck. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're just not going to play with that. When we come back to these grind outs, what they call them, where you have to go up and buy the oil. Had a little bit of an issue there. Like I said, I was doing the oil and I started thinking, I'm like, wait, I remember that said 21 feet. This is not no 21 feet. This is, I remember writing down 13 foot and change. And so I went up there while I was pumping. So it was dropping, the tank was dropping and remeasured it and I got like 10 feet but because I had been pulling oil so that told me my 13 was right and then I was like oh yeah I made my ticket and I went and put it in the mailbox and I'm like oh that's right um somebody had to have been here before me and so they were and I their measurement was 21 and 13 and change. This was 13.2 and 0.8 of an inch. And mine was 13.1 and 7.8. I mean, they're really, really close. And you, you take a measurement, it's called strapping. You take a, it's got like a lead, like a plumb bob, if you will, or brass, not lead, brass head that you sink down and it, um, it's a hand crank tape measure. It's a long strap, about maybe it's a half inch wide. Yeah. So you strap that down, you let it go down, and then you know you it gets in the oil, and then once you get to the bottom, so you know it's a 30 foot tank or a 20 foot tank. So you kind of know where to stop, and then hold your arm up over the hole and go down slowly until you feel it stop and then go back up crank it and read where the oil is on the measurement and that's how you know how tall the tank is It'd be nice if they had a fill tube imagine there's a reason they don't a, a sight glass um, because you could just read that uh, the computers they do it for you which is nice this is a workout but you get paid for it extra money um, so yeah it's kind of so I'm saying this is a challenge out here this is not <laughs> OTR in any sense of the word um, obviously doing oil but I like it it's a challenge it's stressful AF um, uh, you know I and I, I didn't even shift on that because I knew I was done. I was like, well, I'm not, if I try, I'm just gonna spin. As soon as I get a lower gear, get that more torque, it's gonna go. So I was just bringing it down to a stop. But um, I didn't think I'd be sliding back. I thought there was enough sand or dirt showing that I was okay, but no. I mean, I was, and I wasn't. That could ended up really bad. So the thing about it is what I've learned just throw your dang chains on then if you don't make it up and you slide back it's like man I did everything proper I did everything I was supposed to do then they can't come and say well you're a effing idiot because you didn't put your chains on why didn't you put your chains on and I know better it's not like I don't want to put my chains on or I don't know how obviously I know how but it was more of I thought I could make it but now I know, don't mess with it out here. Just don't even mess with it. So I learned my lesson. Anyway, well, I'll take you over here to our next little climb area. It's right around here somewhere. Once I get there, 
I can pull over and take these chains off. Um, like I said, it's been a while since I've thrown doubles. Um, out here they call them three rails. I call them doubles, where I'm from. Um, anyway, yeah, it wasn't bad at all. And, and I, I'm glad I got to do it. That was my first time. Um, the guy I'm working for, he's all like, I don't want nobody ever messing with my chains when I put my chains on my truck because I have a certain way of doing it. And when I put them back on the hanger, they go on a certain way. And you don't let somebody else do it because then they get it all mixed up. You know, you basically you have them folded in half because they're three rails. I call them doubles. They call them three rails. But... Um, This is that area right here. So it's still light out. So yeah, I would have been fine, and, and I thought so coming in here, but since I have my chains on anyway, we'll get up on top of the hill here, and then we'll take our chains off. Why, well, I still have a little bit of daylight left. And then, uh, little boogie woogie. See, you can't mess with this stuff. <laughs> I should have just, I should have known better to come in here with my, oh, hang on there, come with me. Um, in the proper gear to start with. That's another thing I just learned right now. Start your gear in the right gear. And then, because um, even though it's dry, that could be bad. So what I'm gonna have to do is come in. I'm just in low and I'm not gonna just, I'm just gonna leave it because it's climbing up to right here. Um, but start up in too high, I think it, what it, it is before you come into it and then you just keep it going because if you try to shift like I just did I thought I could do it nope can't do it and I knew that on the other ones but um, vibration going on here like the little hills I climbed with the ones in the asphalt just went right into too high and took care of it that way we climbed right up with no issues but at least you got to see what happens when you don't play by the rules <laughs> there's a certain way of doing things out here and you just have to do it so I think that we're good. So I'm gonna pull my chains off. So I remember coming through here, it was all pretty level. It was just a bumpy road, but I'm gonna get into a straight area. Cause even that could have been bad there because if you get, um, even with chains on, you start to spin out. You start to dig yourself ruts washboard Danny right there okay so now there's two things that we learned on this one chain up and gear the right gear before you go up because if you don't you saw what happened I was in fourth and I was climbing and I thought I could go fourth to two no you can't and maybe automatic, but not. Buster over here, you don't like that. I 
But anyway, while it's still light, I'll pull up over here and take my chains off. Hang them proper. And we can get into town. Not good a spot as any. Okay, we uh, we're all unchained, unchained melody. Oh, damn! So much weight on here. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is you gotta get that center rail and hang your chains off of that center rail. But the problem I'm finding is when you lay out the chains and then you fold them in half and then you go to grab that center rail, it mixes in with the other chains and you can't remember where the heck it went. So when I buy my truck, put chain, I might do it to this truck too, just get some paint Spray paint the center rail. They call them three rail, I call them doubles. Yep, they call them three rail. Um, so, I think that'll help a lot. I mean, it wasn't that bad, it didn't take me that long, maybe eight minutes to unchain, maybe 10 minutes to unchain and roll over and hang my chains up. Um, when I was with the blue truck, we threw our chains in a hopper in the back. And that caused a nightmare. You had to spend more time unchain untangling them than putting them on. So we're not gonna have that issue I should actually I know I'm, I know I'm going right but I should put Roosevelt see what it offers me That's taking me where I want to go. I want to go out to 40. So, yeah. Okay, we're good to go. We get in town, park this thing, go home, eat dinner, uh, wash this day off my hands. Thank God it wasn't worse than it could have been. But I learned a lot just now. And I should have known better on the second one. The chains, uh, well, still should have known better, but I didn't know. Now I do. Um, but the other, don't try to shift on a hill, period. Just take it and go. I've done it to all the big hills. I should have done it to that hill, but I'm a moron. Anyway, we'll call this video good for now. Thanks again for riding shotgun with Mountain Man Mike. Until the next time, enjoy. Peace! So ride along in future videos and see how much fun we have back here. I'm going to get it down. I'm not going to let it beat me. I'm going to get it down. See ya!